get here. Relentless rain across Hampshire meant the Army Tennis Championships had wisely retreated indoors as Army No. 1, Ben Rogers, lined up against Royal Engineer Simon Killips in the men's singles final. This was a repeat of last season's final and winning the toss, Rogers opted to serve first. Uncharacteristically, Rogers' radar was misfiring early on and several unforced errors saw Killips give at the opening game. It was some time before Rogers, who will spearhead Army hopes of victory at this summer's Inter-Services Championships, finally got his game going. He clawed his way back into the contest after at one stage trailing 4-2. He made sure not to let slip his grip and held on to take first set success 7-5, heading to the chair in better spirits. Another tenth set followed, and for Killips, who plays his club tennis in Nottingham, his aspirations of triumph were slipping away. Instead, it was Royal Artilleryman Rogers, who perhaps have not fired as many salvos of old, had done enough to see off his challenger. He took the second set 7-5, and it will be his name on the winner's board for a fourth time. Meanwhile, three times ladies' singles winner Preet Chandy was hoping to add another title to her list in the women's final. Her opponent was Bath University-based officer cadet Amelia Davis, and it was the teenager who turned on the power to take control of their contest. Davis, who hopes to join the RLC when she finishes her studies, edged a tight opening set 7-5. It was tough for Chandy, who came into this campaign harbouring an injury, following her stint racing in the gruelling Marathon de Salle. The lack of court time left her a frustrated figure. In the end, it was Davis who maintained her focus to seal a maiden army singles title, days after her 19th birthday and a welcome winning break away from her university studies. The focus now for Army Tennis switches to the Inter-Services Championships. They return to Wimbledon this year and take place later in the summer. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot.